Welcome to class, students. Remember our little friend? This is Regan, named after Regan Russell, the animal rights activist who died trying to save pigs. And this is her little pig friend. And she has a button today, and the button is written in French. Does anybody here speak French? Can you read that? It says, Ne me demandez pas pourquoi je suis vegan. Demandez-vous pourquoi vous ne l'êtes pas. And that means, don't ask me why I'm vegan. Ask yourself why you are not. Right, Regan? Right. And over here, we have a how to go vegan booklet. But before I talk to you a little bit about this booklet, let's have a look down here at a new visitor. Remember I told you that we caught a mouse and the mouse's name is COVID that starts with the letter K. I'll show you here. This is the trap that we caught her in. It's a bit wet because we just washed it. How it works is that the mouse goes in here. This lever goes down. The mouse goes to get the peanut butter and then the mouse finds herself stuck in the trap and it slides over here like this. And then in the morning when you check your trap or several times a day, you just pull this back and if you see a mouse, then that's great. You've caught the mouse without ever having to hurt the mouse. If you ever have a mouse in your house, please buy a humane mouse trap. Don't buy, oh, that's my hair. Don't buy a kind of a trap that will cause the animal any suffering. Don't get a guillotine that chops their head off and don't for sure get the pieces of, um, there's like a piece of paper with glue all over it because that hurts them so much. It's a terrible, slow, very painful death. This is a much more humane trap. You can see that the mouse tried to get the, um, the peanut butter and didn't realize that they, they tried to nibble there. They didn't realize that there was an entrance back here. See? Boop. That's where they walk in. And then when you catch your mouse, you put your mouse in something bigger. Now this is a box that we had lying in our garage. There used to be like a tabletop on top of this. It used to be a kind of a homemade coffee table at one point. Anyway, this is the cage that we have our COVID in. Now, COVID usually, COVID with a K. COVID is the mouse that we caught about um, six weeks ago or a month ago, I'm not sure. And COVID is going to be released very soon. Right now, I just checked and COVID is actually sleeping inside this little sock. But you can see that we have a new visitor. Yesterday, we caught another mouse. You see, there, there he is. I don't know if it's a boy or girl, but I'm gonna call him COVID-2, because I don't know what else to call him. Hello, little COVID. This is COVID, COVID number two. Look how sweet he is. Hi, precious. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you because I'm vegan. Look at his little fingers, guys. Hi, sweetie pie. So this little one has been living in our frid, in our kitchen for quite a while and managed to not use the trap. But yesterday we finally caught him. Hey, you little bugger. You a little guy, little cutie. So now what are we gonna do? So we have COVID number one sleeping in here and COVID two we just put on the outside. So we're separating them to begin with. Now I put this little sock here for COVID two in case he wants to cuddle up in here. And I put a little piece of pear and some uh, sunflower seeds and of course some water. So if he wants to, he can easily climb up here and get these things. And COVID-1 has the same thing, some water and a little piece of pear and some sunflower seeds. And I brought this branch in just now from outside. It smells like something from nature at least. And we have some grass here, and this is an old pair of underwear that got ripped. So we just put that in there so COVID can kind of bite that or make something out of it or bury himself in there. So yeah, I don't know if, if COVID is a boy or what his gender is, but I've been calling him a boy just for variety. So here's COVID. Hi, bud. How's it going, you little cutie cutie? And they don't know of each other's uh, presence yet. So I'm not sure if I should open this up and let them find each other. 
I don't know if they're gonna, maybe they won't like each other. What do you think? Do you think they'll fight? Or do you think it'll be okay? If I put this here, will that fall? Here, I'm gonna put this water over here in the corner. Let's put that over here in the corner. There. Maybe I'll put the food in the corner here too, in that way. Hey, Kobe, there's some food here if you want. I think COVID had a huge snack last night though. There was a lot of peanut butter in that and he probably is full right now. So this opens like this, you see? Now, COVID is actually in here, COVID number one. I checked before, but she doesn't know about COVID two. Maybe say hi. Can we say hi without scaring you? I don't want to scare you. Oh, are you in there? No, I don't want to scare her. Oh, she just moved a little bit. Oh, oh my God, scare me. Sorry, sweetie, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, I forgot that she has another exit out the other end. Okay, anyway, so she ran out and she's in here now. And now I'm gonna close this and see if they notice each other. I wonder if they're gonna see, if they're gonna notice each other. Hey, did you know there's another mouse here? Did you know there's another mouse? Would you like to see your mouse friend? It won't be long before I release them both outside into the forest near our home. I want to make sure first that the weather is not too cold and that they're, have, they're going to both have a lot of food nearby. And maybe I'll leave some sort of a shelter, I don't know, just a little anything, an upside down uh, plastic lid with a hole in it that they can hide in if they need to but I'm looking forward to releasing them. It must be terrible to leave your, live your life in a prison like this. This is why we shouldn't be getting pets. You know, if you get a pet from a pet store, that pet is stuck basically in some sort of a prison. It's not fun. I'm gonna put this down here too. There you go. Okay. Maybe I can get COVID-2 to walk a little bit. Do you wanna go see your friend? Do you wanna go see your friend? I hope you guys can be friends. Hi. So I don't know, I guess this this guy here has been living in our kitchen for quite a while. Oh my God, you're so cute. You're so cute, sweetheart. So anyway, that's what's the news around here. I just wanted to quickly show you. I'm not sure if I'm gonna open this lid or not and let them meet each other. It would be terrible if they didn't like each other and then they started fighting. That would just make me really, really sad. So I think I'll leave them separate for now. I'll leave them a chance. See, the, there's some bars here so they can have a chance to, to meet each other slowly and sniff each other. And maybe I'll show you the update later. So I'm gonna put, you see over here, I have these glass lids. There's a towel on the couch. That's because Bella lies there. We don't want her to make the couch all muddy. So these are glass lids that come from an Ikea shelf. So if you ever do have um, an animal in your house like a mouse that you caught and you're not sure what to do you can just use some sort of a box and put a clear glass on top or something like that oops put this on here and yeah there's another sock here too that has a hole in it see you give that to them after roll it up like a little ball that's it for today I wanted to just show you that and just to remind you that if you are not yet vegan you can order this for free from PETA. You just write to their office and they deliver you some information. This is a little pamphlet to teach you all about the different kinds of foods that you can have. It tells you why you should be vegan. It tells you easy ways to make the transition. It gives you examples of different products, different oat milk and, and almond milk, things like that. Different types of cheeses and yogurts that you can buy. So you, if you look at these, you'll memorize what they look like and you'll be able to find them better in your grocery store, right? And different types of products like this is like a fake fish. It's uh, flavored usually with some seaweed or something like that. And it's a great way to have a, the taste that you like, but without hurting any animals. And here are examples of, um, there's different pizzas and there's also other different things that you can make in a skillet. This is a, a different type of a meal that you can make there for convenience foods. Over here we have different types of uh, fake meats made out of plants, 
Beyond Burger, of course, is a very popular one and it has a lot of protein in it. And we also have alternatives to chicken and turkey. This, this brand is called Gardein. Um, I recommend that. I've had these before and they taste pretty good to me. But I don't buy them that often, to be honest, because I don't usually buy too many processed foods. Here you can see a dessert. This is a cheesecake that you can buy. And there's Ben and Jerry's ice cream. There's Hagen dazs ice cream, all kinds of different things. You can buy vegan mayonnaise and vegan um, salad dressings. And of course, you can have vegan butter and vegan chocolate chips. I've had all of these. The vegan butter is good and the chocolate chips are good. So those are just some ideas. And here's a, an idea of what to make every day. If you don't know what to cook, what to make, then you can get this booklet. And it gives you some ideas of what to have every day of the week. See, Monday all the way to Sunday and what you can have for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. And the recipes they recommend are over here. Look, here's some vegan chicken parmesan subs. It gives you a picture and it tells you how to make them. And it also tells you over here, tofu scramble with mushrooms and spinach. It teaches you how to make that. And also some beefless stew. You can pause this video at any time if you want to check the recipe. And here is some fish free tacos. And this is a key lime cheesecake. And all kinds of different recipes. And you can go to PETA.org for recipes. Remember that address. PETA.org slash recipes. PETA.org slash recipes. Need a vegan mentor? Well, you can get a vegan mentor for free. They help you to do the transition. You see that? The vegan mentor program helps ease the transition by providing one-on-one -on -one support from a vegan expert who can answer questions and guide you with tips on shopping, cooking, eating out, nutrition information, and more. Visit PETA.org slash vegan mentor. So for recipes, it's PETA.org slash recipes. And for a mentor, PETA.org slash vegan mentor. Also tips about dining out, what you can do when you're out, what kind of foods you can choose from, all kinds of things about vegan kids and how it's healthy to be vegan, even if you're a kid and cow's milk is for calves, not kids. Remember that. Here's some ideas of ki vegan kid-friendly meals. And here's something about just plant power, how it's great for you. Fight cancer with plants. Prevent and even reverse diabetes and protein powerhouses. Here you have all kinds of different uh, facts about B vitamins and omega-3. What are B vitamins? Um, it tells you a little bit about that and about how it's important to be vegan for the environment. Eating animals harms the environment. A lot of people don't know that. You can shrink your carbon footprint. You can stop toxic waste. You can reduce deforestation. Be vegan and help save the earth. Look at all you'll save. There's all kinds of cool things in this little pamphlet. And like I said, it's free. Also, it teaches you about your meat and where it's really from. It's very sad. And you can watch the documentaries I always tell you about, like Dairy is Scary and Dominion Movement. And it talks about how smart birds are. And actually, chickens are relatively smart. And how if they tell you that something is humane meat, that it's a lie. It's a marketing ploy. And how every day you can save lives one little bit at a time. And it tells you a little story here. A true story of one of the anonymous individuals whose misfortune it was to be born a food animal. Poor sweetie pie. So that's it, guys. I wanted to show you that. Thank you so much for joining me today in class. I hope that you will have a fantastic day. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye for now. Do, 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 do.